Hello everyone, I am Suman. Today we are going to look at a topic that is immunoelectrophoresis. This is the last part of precipitation reaction that is the antigen and antibody interactions. So let's discuss the immunoelectrophoresis. So what does the word means? Immuno means the complex which is formed by the antigens and the antibody and the electrophoresis is it is a movement of ions or some macromolecules in the fluid in the presence of electric current generally 5 volt per centimeter it separate the mixture of the proteins ions or the macromolecules and helps to identify them so you can see in this picture this is the electrophoresis tank this is the negative electrode and this is the positive electrode these are the wells this is total the glass plate and when you pour the agar middle that becomes the agar plate so then you need to puncture the plate and make some well so that you can pour the antigen solution and this is the direction of the movement the direction is from the negative electrode to the positive electrode so the immunoelectrophoresis it is of four types first one is the crossed immunoelectrophoresis second is rocket immunoelectrophoresis third is fused rocket immunoelectrophoresis and fourth one is affinity immunoelectrophoresis so today we are going to look about the qualitative method of the immunoelectrophoresis what does it mean when I say qualitative? Qualitative means it does not involve any concentration form. So let's discuss. Suppose this is the glass plate. You need to pour the agar. Then it becomes the agar plate. So then you need to puncture the agar plate and make some wells. And in that well, you need to pour the mixture of antigens. Or you can say the sample of antigens which consists of many components of the antigen and the glass plate is then subjected to electrophoresis what is electrophoresis we have discussed it just now it is the movement of the ions or the components so this is the antigen mixture or the sample of mixture so when you subject it to electrophoresis then the sample of antigen it gets separated and form a individual band you can see in this picture the sample of antigen is separated in and this is the longitudinal trough which is cut in the cell so the movement of the components of antigen is from the negative electrode to the positive electrode then the next step would be you need to pour the anti serum or the antibodies so that they can react with the particular antigen in the next step the antigens they start diffusing radially that means from all the directions but the anti serum which is present in this area they diffuse only in the lateral direction so in the next step you can see a visible line that is called the precipitin line where you can detect the antigen so this is a kind of antigen antibody reaction let's summarize it once again immunoelectrophoresis immuno means the complex formed by the antigens and antibody electrophoresis means the movement of the ions or the macromolecules by the help of electrons trick field it generally helps to separate the mixture of components we will discuss about electrophoresis in a separate video in detail so let's discuss the process suppose this is the plate you need to pour the agar media and it becomes the agar plate then you need to puncture and make some well pour the antigen over the well it is a sample of antigens so the next step would be the plate is subjected to electrophoresis Electrophoresis, we have already discussed particle they will move and form the components so this is the whole sample of the antigens then when the plate is subjected to electrophoresis it starts separating and moving in the direction from negative to positive electrode in the next step in this area the anti serum is poured and in the next step the antigen they start diffusing radially in overall direction the anti serum will diffuse only in 
lateral direction. So after the incubation of overnight, you can see a precipitin line where the antigen and antibody interact. So this is all about the amino electrophoresis. In the next class, we will discuss about the details of the types of the amino electrophoresis. This is a qualitative technique of amino electrophoresis as we are not dealing with any type of concentration of antigen or antibody. So it is called a simple qualitative amino electrophoresis. Thank you. I hope it will help you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel to get more such videos. Thank you.